So I did not start doing neurofeedback to think I'd be working with people who have suffered brain injury. Um, yes, through taking some courses with Dr. Daniel Amen and his emphasis on brain scans and saying a lot of people suffer from concussions and brain injury and we don't know it. And the more work I do around this, I realize it's true. There are people that had difficult birthing experiences, people who have suffered brain injury from a drug they took, um, drugs and alcohol afflict brain injury, car accidents, stroke. I've seen some amazing things that just kind of shock me. Um, it seems that the people who are good candidates for neurofeedback are those who suffer the most. The, the more you're going, oh, I'm pretty in the wellness and I just want to try this out. Um, I might say, well, we have to see if, you know, if you already know how to lift weights, going to a gym, may, you may not see the biggest bang for your buck. But if you're so weak with brain issues that you just can't concentrate, Often the results are marvelous. I see people with attention deficit disorder. So we see that the brain needs help to speed up or to learn to pay attention. The training often is very tiring to them, but it pays off. I've seen people who have had stroke gain, regain the use of the limbs that were not working so well, balance improves, swallowing improves, the mood improves. I've had people who've had multiple concussions, amnesia, couldn't remember basic information about their life, their family, had to repeat classes and schooling. And after three sessions, they're saying, I'm remembering things with tears in their eyes. They're thrilled, they're happy. Brain injury can cause huge problems with anger, just depending on where they're hit. The prefrontal cortex here does help us to stop and think before we act. Think of the commercial, gee, I could have had a V8. So, impulse control often improves. The person mellows out. Headaches that accompany brain injury. I had a person travel round trip 200 miles to, she was in a, I don't want to identify her, but I will say that she was in a plane situation which caused a brain injury. And so problems with remembering, amnesia, anxiety. It was difficult. This person was really challenged in their work and they were able to pull it off. Yeah, no. And the strange thing there is I only could see him on a weekend. And so it's not the best kind of training, <laughs> but it was training nonetheless. So I'd see him one day, one draining, the next day another, and then I think we were doing two a day to get three in a one week period, but it was all in the weekend. Better to kind of space it out, but sometimes you do what you gotta do. So yes, definitely anybody out there who has had brain injury, I highly recommend doing this.